While I was younger, I used to think that success was all about the hard work. I always thought to myself that maybe if my parents had worked harder, we would be as rich as Dan <laughs> I always thought that the struggles wouldn't be pretty much. My God, don't look at me that way. Even for the grace of God in our lives. You see, we often have expectations of how our lives will turn out. We dream of success, wealth, and happiness. But the reality is that life can be a struggle and sometimes it's hard to keep up with our own expectations. So in this video, I shared my true life experience about overcoming the struggles of comparison and building self-confidence as a Christian youth. I've come to realize that success is not really all about hard work. Yeah, and I realized that it's some, it's actually about the grace of God in our lives. Sometimes, no matter how hard we work, it's things just don't, don't really seem to go our way. You see, when you begin to start comparing yourself with others and start comparing your achievements with others, you begin to you now fall into the trap of comparison. Comparison is a real struggle. It is something that can lead to destruction as well as distraction from gratitude. There are people that we compare ourselves to, they are all around us too for seven. At this point, I'm not going to be playing innocent, innocent. Also, I fall victim of this particular struggle sometimes, you know, and it's not really very, very easy. I can say that it is not really so easy. So these people are all around us 247. You can actually see that these people are on the TV, they are on social media, they are on magazines, they are on blogs. Anytime you pick up your phone, you are seeing them, they are rubbing it off on you. They may not indirectly be rubbing it off on us actually, but we are just trying to compare ourselves to them or oh, this person went to the same school together, this person to do work for themselves or ourselves and I'm here just sitting down doing nothing. Even the work I'm even doing, life is not fair, you start blaming yourself for things. You are beginning to enter the trap of comparison. So you see, it can be really hard to escape the circle of comparison. And um, sometimes we usually compare ourselves to others because we are trying desperately to please everyone around us. We are trying desperately to please our parents, our siblings, and those that even look up to us. We are trying to make them proud. So Galatians 1 verse 10 makes it clear to us that we don't need to win everyone over. We need to focus on God. Am I trying to win the approval of human beings or God? Then am I trying to please people? If I were trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Comparison can make us feel less about ourselves and also cause us to judge others unfairly. If we judge ourselves, for instance, academically against someone else in our class, it's actually we are actually going to feel desperately bad and it will make you or it will make us to start questioning our own work and progress. So I've come to understand this in life. For my sake and for your sake and for our mental health, instead of comparing ourselves to others and finding out about what they've achieved or not, why not we just channel the same energy to, um, to building ourselves, to, to, to set goals and focus on our own strength so we to know what we can able to do to achieve our own goals you should know that you are unique and you have your own journey to take it's very important that you um focus on your own path and trust that god has a plan for you one of the struggles i mentioned is comparison which can birth and that struggle which is confidence comparison leads to lack of confidence low self-esteem and this is where the real struggle lies so you see, many adults, young ones, and Christian youths don't believe in themselves or what they can be able to do. So you see, um, we second guess ourselves, we doubt our abilities and our dreams. You see, I'm not just doing this video because I want to do it for traffic's sake or something. No, I was once here before, I was once in this circle of, you know, low self-esteem and comparison circle. And by the grace of God, I had to come out of my shell. I said, no, I shouldn't be, I have to come out of my shell. I had to pray to God to help me to come out of my shell. So that is why I'm like doing this video. I felt led to do this video because I feel like there are people out there who need to hear this particular word. 
You need to come out of your shell of comparison. You need to come out of your shell of low self-esteem. So I'm here to tell you that you can overcome the struggles and you can actually achieve your goals. So I have some tips here that helped me personally. I want to share with you that will also help you as well. Firstly, you need to understand that comparison is a thief of joy. Don't forget that I said earlier that you need to channel those energy to focus on yourself to be able to achieve your goal instead of comparing yourself with other people. Secondly, you need to practice self-love and self-acceptance. And um, it's very important that we recognize our value and worth as an individual and also we practice on um, we love ourselves despite our flaws and imperfections yes we are humans and we are imperfect we all have flaws we all have things that we do and trust me we are actually on our way to perfection so when we accept ourselves and we are more confident about our abilities and our dreams compassion then we, can, we are able to achieve and pursue our goal and aspiration without fear. Thirdly, having a support system is very, very important and necessary. We need to surround ourselves with people that will help us, people with positive and uplifting mind and spirit that will help us come out of the shell of the struggles of comparison and um, lack of confidence. We need people who will encourage us that when we talk to them, they don't have to judge us because of what we do. They don't have to judge us, but we need them to encourage us. We need people that can encourage and motivate us to become the best version of ourselves. And finally, it's important to know that our identity is rooted in Christ. As a Christian, I believe that my worth and value comes from God and I can find my identity in Christ. So when we understand this truth, we can overcome the struggles knowing that our identity is secured in Christ. Building confidence takes time and practice. We need to learn to be kind to ourselves, no matter what. Don't hit yourself too hard. Learn to celebrate your accomplishments, whether big or small. Always be grateful to God for where you are and trust God's plan for your life. It's important for you to surround yourself with positive influences and seek help when you need it. Let's support each other and remember that we are all in this together. Thank you so much guys for watching my video today. I really hope that this video was impactful and you learned one or two from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, drop a comment and most importantly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, see you in my next video. Bye!